you're going to be working in groups of three in centers and you're going to explore some properties of magnets. Now this is going to be important because we need to fully understand all the properties of magnets before we can design our maglev trains, which we will do tomorrow. We'll start designing tomorrow. Okay? Um, I'm just going to tell you what the centers are and then I'm going to let you get to work. Okay. So you're already sitting with your groups and you are going to be exploring materials. This center here, this is called magnet um, sailing. Okay? The directions are here and I'm going to, which will explain to you how it works. My other station is the levitating magnet station. You have all the materials you need in your bag, including your directions. Um, the other station we have is the find the poles station. And you have everything you need in the bag right now. Every group is going to get to do every single center. Okay, so we'll do them, let's see, it's 12. So we're going to do them each center. We'll do it for about 10, 15 minutes. You may now begin. Yes. Thomas? Yes. This might actually like be a really good idea for future sailing. No, like they could get across the ocean fast. That could be a good idea. I look, I'm going to move, move it too. <laughs> I, I, I want to make my own magnet turn. Actually, north and north, I stick it. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, against yeah. each other. That's why. It's not. It feels like a ball in the middle. How were you able to do that? We had Staring. to match up the poles. And what do you mean by match up the poles? We have to have both of the same poles facing together and then oh. hold each other. Okay. And every time I try to push it down, it springs right back up. Like this. <laughs> and you're not going to well, touch like, it with the magnets. It's that. like you're using the force of the magnets to Wait, move the ball. Let me see. Like negative and positive. Right. 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 Yeah, that's what the This is more. Wait, no, this is north, this is south. So the top is north. Oh my god, I'm doing magic! Girl, look at my magic! Look at Bill! Look at the baddest thing! Oh, 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 we did it! Yeah! Let's see what happens. This side is south, and this side is north. I think the top is This one's north. This one's the same as north. This one sticks, this one repels. Well, I think actually, like, since there's a, two sides, north and a south, you don't know what, what side the, um, the, the magnet is glued to the ping pong, right? So we had to, like, flip them over and see if it, if it, um, repels or, or it comes, or it starts sticking to it. Okay, it seems like we um, did a lot of discovering. Does any, did anyone learn something um, today that they didn't already know about magnets? Stefan? Magnetic forces can go through things. Okay, so magnetic forces can, like what kind of things? What did you test? Like the basin, it's like, it's like a wall, but they will push together even. They will push together and sometimes when you flip it, they will stick. So the magnetic force went through that plastic basin, right? Was there other materials you tested? Taekwon? I was gonna say something else. Okay, like go ahead. one of these, and like we put one magnet the uh, same way as this one is, and we put like more other magnets on top of the uh, magnet that was levitating, and it still holded it up. The, oh, so one, one magnet was levitating two magnets? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Three. Three, oh my goodness. Anything else that we didn't already know about magnets that we learned today? Okay, Stefan. Magnets are awesome. Okay, you didn't know you didn't know that before, but now you know. Okay, good. All right. So what I would like you to do is put all the materials for the center back into your bag, including the instructions. 
When I got to lesson three and the students have to explore properties of magnets further to, so they have that understanding in order to design their maglev system, uh, we had already gone through and I've, I'd already asked the students what do we already know about magnets and they already knew a great deal about magnets um, as far as opposites attract and um, like poles repel and you know they already had a pretty good working knowledge of magnets when they so when they got to their centers they were able to discover some more specific things it was still an important lesson they kind of extended that and they didn't know which was the strongest magnet which by the end of the, that activity they realized it was the disc magnet uh, they also understood fully how to levitate the magnets which they had already kind of understood we're going to do um, like poles to, to levitate and then even more so they understood that the magnetic force can go through other materials like styrofoam and cardstock and paper and uh, tape and masking tape so that really helped them when they got to the point of actually designing their maglev 